Good morning. Welcome to story time. It's summer library program time and we have been really busy here doing all kinds of fun things and I'm going to share some with you. But first, the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. So here's Miss Marie in the library, and I see some interesting things here. Do you see this, boys and girls? For those of you that have signed up for the crafts, and some of you did, some of you didn't, but we have some bags of crafts ready. Some of y'all are out of town. They'll be waiting for you when you get here. But I wanted you to see. We're doing woodland animals this week, and we have a snail. Now, I know a snail's not really a very pretty animal, and I made mine very colorful. When you make yours, it'll look a little bit different, but it's still colorful. The shell is circular, round. And over here, we have a wonderfully fun hedgehog. And boys and girls, when you pick up your craft, you get to color the paper plate and then glue all of the spines on that hedgehog. It really is a hedgehog. It's not a porch pie. It's a hedgehog. They roll up into a round ball. Did you know that? And here is our fox. Now this fox is kind of brown and tan. Some foxes are white. And some foxes are a lot more reddish colored. They always call it the red fox. But we have a brown one. And this craft is made from hearts. Even this part is a heart. And if you look on the back side of his ear, if I can get to it, the back side of his ear is an upside down heart. So we have some fun things for you here at the library. Come and see us. We're here every day, Monday through Saturday. Okay, so we're talking about woodland creatures, and I wanted to show you a book. This is an Usborne, and it's got some beautiful pictures. And this is a page about bears. We have bears here in Mississippi. In fact, they saw one, and I think they actually had to um, get a vet and tranquilize it and relocate it because it was really in the wrong place. Now these are black bears. There's gray grizzly bears and there's brown tan bears. But these are black bears. And there's a mother and two cubs. Now this is a big male and the two cubs are climbing the tree to get away from them because sometimes they'll attack. Animals have their own ways of doing things. Now, I have a wonderful book I'm going to read to you. It's a very old book. And, oh look, the very first thing you're going to see is a red fox. This is a book about animal houses, and it's by Eileen Fisher. <clears throat> it is a Bomar publication, and like I said, it's pretty old. But it's a really great book. I love the way the words are all over the page. We walked in the city, and here's what we found. Houses for people are squarer than round. Houses with corners and angles and crooks. See how the words angle up? See that? Isn't that fun? Porches and doorways and windows and nooks. People's houses are squarer than round. But we walked in the country and found everywhere that animal houses are rounder than square. And think about that round shell on the snail and how the hedgehog can roll up into a round circle. Porcupines can. Their houses are in the grass and 
in the ground. See that round? And up in the air. I see a round nest. The nests are round. You know that, don't you, boys and girls? Round grassy ball where a mouse likes to hide. Round swirly shell for a snail, he or she. I think they're on the beach. And do you see that? That looks like an old boat frame. Huh. I wonder who left that there. Round earthy hole where a woodchuck can flee. Or a badger. Or a chipmunk or a skunk, hopefully. Round nests for squirrels are not easy to see. There's the squirrel. Round hidden nest for a bird nursery. And look, there are baby birds and mama birds got a worm. Somebody's gonna get to eat. Ugh. round wooden hole in a hollow old tree where a possum could be. And boys and girls, we have our very own possum craft. Looky, looky. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Oh, his nose is coming off. Get back where you belong, nose. And get it to stay over there. And this raccoon is looking over here at that possum saying, don't come over here. There's two different trees. Tunnely hole where a mole can feel free. Oh, we've got one of those in my yard right now. They are not a good thing for the yard. They chew through the roots and they dig up the dirt. <clears throat> A gopher, or a weasel, or a worm, possibly. Get out there in the yard and pick up some of those rocks and things and move, and I'll bet you'll see some worms. With all that rain last night. Round hill of ants as high as my knee. And oh my goodness, young man, I hope you don't kick that hill of ants. You know, here in Mississippi, we got fire ants, and they have ant hills that high. Do not mess with those ants. That is not a good thing to do because they will forevermore bite you. That's what we found when we looked everywhere. Round curvy houses for people are rare, but animal houses are rounder than square. How about that? Good book. Good book. So, boys and girls, I hope that you have enjoyed this. I've shown you some of our crafts, some things you can come and get, pick up. I love the possum. He's just too cute. Too cute. And we are looking forward to seeing you here at the library. Have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye.